So, uh, sir, uh, uh, we really appreciate being here at this special occasion, this air show, and uh, I know what a, a glorious history uh, 425 Alouette Squadron has, uh, starting in 1942 yes. with Joe St. Pierre yes. and all the guys on Wellingtons in North Africa. And uh, uh, as you know, I recovered, helped recover a Halifax bomber from Belgium and we saved the medal, even though it was a badly mangled crash, we saved the medal after we buried the three Canadians we found inside. And so we've used the medal for the, uh, the ingots of the Halifax bomber were used in the roof of the giant Bomber Command Memorial in London, England. Oh, wow, wonderful. So that is a, a big symbol of the Canadians and we joked about it a little bit with sincerity where we yeah. said, isn't that just the way Canadians have them covered? Yes, yes. You're so right. the ceiling was made from the Bomber Command Memorial. And because I know the Halifax uh, bomber is such an important aircraft in your history, and you have such a, a wonderful and long history here, especially in Bagotville, uh, I wanted to present you with uh, we have 800 pounds of ingots at our Bomber Command Memorial in Nanton, Alberta. And what I did was, because I knew you'd appreciate it, is I cut a wafer off oh, of one geez. of the ingots from a combat Canadian Halifax, and I'd like to present it to you oh, now. Wonderful. And uh, hopefully it will be a mini treasure oh, absolutely. for your guys. And uh, in the name of uh, Joe St. Pierre and uh, Joe DeCio, um, uh, Le Comp, I'd just like to present that with you and uh, tell you that uh, we really appreciate your service and your excellence and uh, we just uh, wanted to say thank you in a little way. Well listen, Carl, thank you very much. Uh, this is a, an honour and a privilege for me uh, to accept this from you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you and all of your team for doing what you do to remember the fallen uh, airmen and airwomen that served during World War II. You're correct, 425 has got a, a very rich uh, military history and tradition. I think we're one of the, one of the squadrons that it might be, uh, have the most battle honours perhaps in the, in the Royal Canadian Air Force, so it's an honour for us to be wearing the yep. 425 patch and you've got some pilots and maintenance officers here with you today from the squadron. Uh, it's an honour for me to accept this from you and I thank you for keeping the heritage, keeping their memories alive because their sacrifices did not go uh, without uh, without a win in the end and I think that that's very important for us to remember. Well thank you very much and uh, it's really a pleasure to meet all you guys and uh, to realize you're on the cutting edge and you can go Mach 2 if you want to yeah. and uh, I think there's a common element, a common thread here and we use it as part of our motto and it, I think it, it symbolizes uh, the best of the Royal Canadian Air Force. I love that name sir, yes. Royal Canadian Air Force. Isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, the three elements that we cherish are the uh, the noise of the F-18s, yes. <laughs> and there's the three elements that we think are very important: honor, excellence, and sacrifice. Yes. And thank you very much thank for you, having us here. My pleasure. Thank you for being here and okay. showing this to the rest of Canada and Quebec. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thank guys. You. Good. Thank you. This is going to go in a very uh, special place. Okay, I, I didn't engrave it. I, you know, you can do this side. Yeah, rather absolutely. Than side. But it'll go in a special place. This is a piece of history that we'll have forever. Cool. So, well, okay. Carl, thank you. Okay. Much appreciated. Okay. Yep. Okay, thanks and a lot. Thanks for the presentation. Yep. I hope you get a lot of interest throughout the, uh, the, throughout the day. monument and it's uh, about time that they did something for Bomber Command. 
there would not have been D-Day if we didn't have Bomber Command. Yeah, so what, what's going on here now? Um, our Canadian veterans have arrived and the other VIPs have arrived in London, Luton, many of them for the first time since 1945. And uh, they're very looking sharp and spry and uh, looking forward to a great few days of events. He would live in a time when the sky was filled with lightning. She was born on the shores of an English Dover town. Fell in love till a war suddenly would come between them. In the distance they could hear the big engine sound. Follow me from the Alps to the airfields of the battle. Follow me. Story of a war. Have you seen her true love as he's lifting off the runway and he was gone by the light of an October moon? Many men from afar would come here to help a nation fighting on through the darkness so many nights. Bomber boys from a day. When their honor was a virtue from the bravery of men who would stand tall and fight. Follow me from the Alps to the airfields of the battle. Follow me and I'll tell you the story of war. Have you seen her true love as he's lifting off the runway and he was gone by the light of He's lifting off the runway and he was gone by the light of an October moon. Follow me from the Alps to the airfields of the battle. Follow me and I'll tell you the story of war. Have you seen her true love as he's lifting off the runway and he was gone by the light of Have you seen her true love as she's lifting off the runway and he was gone by the light of an October moon?